Welcome back, True Seeker. I've been invited to go on Tinfoil Hat, that's Sam Tripoli's weekly podcast, and he's having me on April 15th, which happens to be the day in history that Lincoln died and the Titanic fully submerged. His latest podcast has somebody on talking about the sinking of the Titanic and how it was a conspiracy connected to the establishment of the Federal Reserve, which is absolutely true. But in this podcast, the presenter misses some crucial details, including the book Futility Wreck of the Titan, which came out 14 years before the Titanic sunk. Futility Wreck of the Titan is about a boat named the Titan, the largest boat ever built, that sinks on its first trip while crossing the Atlantic after hitting an iceberg, which is the exact story of the Titanic predictive programming. So we're going to look at that book in this video, and we're also going to talk about what Gematria reveals about the sinking of the Titanic and the establishment of the Federal Reserve. If you've been around, you've seen a lot of this content before. I cover this in my book. I've made videos about this in the past, but I'm hoping this video makes it to Sam Tripoli as well as the man Gordon Rockford who did the presentation today. This is a reminder why you want Gematria knowledge when presenting things that have to do with conspiracy, because it shows the undeniable evidence of what is truly taking place in this world. So, if you don't know, three of the world's richest men were on the Titanic when it sank. John Jacob Astor, Benjamin Guggenheim, and Isidore Strauss, and all three of these men were fighting the establishment of a central bank in the United States, which became the Federal Reserve. These were the three wealthiest men in the world at the time who all died in this incident. And they were all opponents of the Federal Reserve, and they were all invited to be on this ship for its inaugural sailing. Of course, J.P. Morgan put out the invites, the man who financed the ship, and it was J.P. Morgan, the banker, who got off the boat just as it set sail. He said he felt ill. He didn't want to go on the trip. He was under the weather. And clearly the real reason he got off is because there was a planned conspiracy to sink this ship in a massive scheme, a well-planned scheme. And let's look at just how well-planned it was. So shout out to Ben. Ben's now in college, longtime follower of this work. When he was in high school, it was actually him who made this observation that was so brilliant. From the day that the Titanic fully submerged, April 15th, 1912, to the day that the Federal Reserve was established was December 23rd, 1913. And from those two events was 617 days. And what's 617? Well, it's the 113th prime number. And what do we know about 113? It has two meanings. One, it's very important to the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, which we'll cover in a moment. The other 113 connection is from the Talmud, the Jewish text, where it says non-Jews are an animal race. They're Gentiles. They're goyim. They're too dumb to be considered human. And in Bava Kama 113a, it says Jews may use lies to circumvent a Gentile, a non-Jew. And the number 113 has so much to do with deception mainstream 113. And think about what the mainstream is. It is a stream of lies, propaganda, programming. Mainstream 113, dishonest 113, perverted 113, not true 113, not honest 113, not factual 113, disinfo 113, politics 113, perjury 113, fiction 113, bullshit 113, infidelity 113, divorce 113. Somebody pointed out I needed to add the word sinister to the list, 113. And that fits in here with the Titanic plot. And notice the word Titanic is 113. One of the greatest lies ever told, a Titanic lie for a Titanic agenda. Now, notice the book, The Wreck of the Titan, or Futility, The Wreck of the Titan. This book was published in 1898. It's about a fictional ocean liner named the Titan, which sinks while crossing the Atlantic after hitting an iceberg. Now, here's what's up with that. 
the Titanic in real life hit the iceberg April 14th, 1912, at least what we're told. And that was a date with 49 numerology. Notice futility equals 49, so does iceberg. And notice Scottish, as in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. They have the gematria of 113 and 49. Keep in mind the Scottish Rite headquarters for North America is in Washington, D.C., named after the Scottish Rite Freemason George Washington. Washington equals 49 as well. So does America. So the author of this book has some standout gematria. Morgan Andrew Robertson, 119, like all-seeing eye, like Star of David, like Orthodox. It's not a secret that the Star of David is on the dollar bill. If you're not familiar with that, I'll just put it up here on the screen. Star of David, dollar bill. It's in the star pattern on the right-hand side of the bill. So right here, the stars above the eagle. Let me see if I can make that bigger. Is that big enough? Can you make that out? You can easily trace a Star of David in the star pattern in the stars above the eagle. Stars making a Star of David. And again, just using the alphabetic order, Star of David, 119. Orthodox, 119. All-seeing eye, another thing on the dollar bill, 119. Okay, so this man who wrote this book, The Predictive Programming for the Titanic, his name equals 119. His name also sums to 106 like prophecy. And what that makes me think of is Matt Groening. His full name, Matthew Abraham Groening, has the gematria of 106 and 119 as well. It also has some other standout numbers. But with regards to 106 and 119, very special numbers to the game. And Matt Groening is known for predicting the future in his cartoon, The Simpsons. And of course, The Simpsons is set in Springfield. So... Just realize the world is full of agents in the world of entertainment who tell us the future because the future is planned and scripted. We're living out an agenda like the Project for a New American Century, which wrote about a new Pearl Harbor to catapult an agenda of wars in the Middle East in a surveillance state, which we're now living out. You know, the Project for a New American Century was a group, a think tank that became the Bush, the second administration. They wrote their document just years before September 11th, which became known as the new Pearl Harbor. So, with regards to the Federal Reserve, a lot of things stand out here. From the date that the Federal Reserve was established to the date that the banks opened up for the Federal Reserve, their 12 expansion inches were November 16th, 1914. And notice the uh, plan for those 12 banks was April 2nd, 1914. They opened up a little more than seven months later. But from the establishment of the Federal Reserve to the opening of the 12 extension branches was exactly 47 weeks later. 47 and what does banks equal? 47. So they open up their banks 47 weeks later. And what is it about 47? That's the number of degrees on the Masonic compass in tribute to the 47th problem of Euclid about how to establish foundation. Foundation equals 47. Thus why this nation's birthday is the fourth day of the seventh month. Thus why the cornerstone was laid for Washington, D.C. on a date with 47 numerology. And many Masonic structures had their cornerstones laid on 47 dates. But notice, Federal Reserve equals 143, like Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. And December 23rd, 1913, the date the Federal Reserve was established, synced up with the Titanic sinking, which has the Scottish Rite fingerprints all over it. Notice Scottish equals 49, like Washington, like America. And again, what did we just cover? How the book Futility, Wreck of the Titan, came out on a date with 49 numerology. And futility and iceberg are 49. This is a master plan. We're living out a master plan. It's being executed every single day. Every single day. And um, I encourage people to listen to this presentation. He does a good job, but he could really take it to the next level with this knowledge. And I hope, you know, again, Gordon gets his hands on this presentation. And uh, in the future, he's sure to tie in this knowledge.
Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. It's what has the greatest influence over our federal government, over our banking systems, and arguably this world. And somebody out there is going, no, 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 it's the Jesuits. You're right. The Jesuits are a part of it too. So are other Masonic organizations. The Jesuits and the Scottish Rite share a lot of connections. They, The motto of the 32nd degree of the Scottish Rite is the same motto as the Jesuits. And again, Scottish has that gematria of 32 as well as 49, just like America. And Washington, D.C. once used to be the Catholic colony It's now, you know, the home of the Scottish Rite. And notice the uh, full name of the Jesuits, Society of Jesus, 187. What's etched on the Scottish Rite building in D.C. is Ancient Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, 187. Just like Washington, D.C. is 187. Just like George Washington is 187. You know, big number there in D.C. Right now, Robert Mueller, front and center, 187. The guy who got sworn in as the head of the FBI one week before September 11th. Like, he's not some criminal fraudster. So, anyhow, we'll leave it there. I hope uh, Sam sees this. And uh, now that the video's out there, we won't have to cover it on April 15th, the anniversary of the Titanic fully sinking. Until next time, true seeker.